Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the shop. Time for another mail call, Christmas edition. <laughs> so uh, this will be the last mail call of the year. It'll be also the last video for 2022. Wow, man, we really, uh, you know, flew through 2022, so to speak. Hope you guys have enjoyed the videos. I appreciate all the support this year. It's been awesome channel's been growing uh, matter of fact in the fall I hit my five-year anniversary on YouTube so wow you know that's a lot of videos and uh, you know a lot of projects a lot of time in the shop but it's been fun and uh, I you know wholeheartedly appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting me giving me thumbs up leaving me comments you know I've met a lot of friends so and of course you give me a lot of tips and tricks too so uh, it's been great. It's been a great ride and we'll continue on to 2023. I won't post a video at the end of uh, December. This will be the last one. So we'll be back on track in January on my normal Wednesday videos. I do have a couple in the can. So hopefully we won't have a, a Wednesday that we won't have anything. It just depends. You know, won't get anything filmed during the Christmas holiday that's coming up. So uh, you know, that may put a wrench in the system, but we'll see. So. I do have a couple stickers that have come in to show you. Uh, a couple purchases, not much, because you know it is Christmas time and you got to spend the money on presents for the family. So I haven't spent much on myself for the shop. But uh, you know, I did have a couple paid jobs come in. You saw that one video recently, actually probably last week, and you'll see another one in January. Uh, I've been doing repairs on the jet lathe, just tweaking it, getting it, uh, you know, good to go. So, um, you know, I'll show you a little bit of that. And uh, I think I got a couple other things to throw in there. So uh, let me grab the camera and we'll get started. So looking at my sticker board, we had one come in from Ryan Wright up there at Canada, Wright's Machining Service. And also had one come in from James P over there at the shed shop. James is uh, down there in Alabama. So uh, if you get a chance, go over there and uh, check out both those guys' channels. Give them a sub. I know they'd appreciate it. And, of course, uh, all the other creators up here, if you don't sub to those channels, uh, give them a sub, too. I know they'd all appreciate it. And I still got a little room left here. So uh, if you hadn't sent me a sticker, send me an email. We'll exchange addresses, and uh, I'll get your sticker up on the board. Well, I think winter is finally here. It's a cold, rainy December day. It's about um, 30 degrees. Or what is that, like negative one Celsius. Uh, gets any colder, so this uh, moisture is going to probably turn into uh, sleet and maybe get some snow. I've got the first fire of the year in the shop going. Warm the place up. It was uh, about 48 when I came in, so there you go, Ralphie. <laughs> no, you're always freezing over there in your shop, but trying to uh, get a little toasty in here and we'll get a little work done. In between that, I'll be throwing Chaos's football. So he says, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I think his, uh, you know, favorite stuff are our footballs and those um, Kong toys so you know tell Santa right buddy bring me toys right that's right all right there you go okay let's get back to the mail call well while I'm mobile I figure I'd go ahead and show the uh, progress on the jet lathe so as you can see in the background I built a backsplash for it. I wanted to make it out of metal. I was going to use a sheet of 18 gauge and then um, frame it out with one by one, you know, eighth inch thick square stock. So two 20 foot sticks and a sheet was going to be like $420. God, man, steel is still up there. That's crazy. So I was like, yeah, that's a no-go. So, you know, I got $60 in this. So, you know, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I'd rather have it, like I said, metal, but it just uh, was not 
cost effective. So got the backsplash built and I am going to uh, drill and ream holes in the top and that's where all the uh, large Morse taper number four and Morse taper number five drills will go. And let's see, we'll come over here real quick. So I built a, a cart for the big chucks. Man, those things are big. So I didn't think it would come out this large, but it did, uh, you know, because the faceplate is 19 inches and that's like 18 and a half on the uh, four jaw. And then I, I left these two holes, one for that 12 inch chuck. And I plan on buying a 12 inch four jaw, which will probably, you know, do most of the work in the four jaw. I don't know how often I'll need that big monstrous one, but when you, when you need a four jaw, you know, that 12 inch is probably, like I said, gonna do most of the work. So those would fit in those little two cubbies. So I kind of got that in there and I can move it around, but like I said, it's a big one. And also I did um, take that pulley off and pin it. If you saw the video where I repaired the uh, drive pulley on this lathe, I just, uh, put it together with that press fit. But after thinking about it and after a couple comments, you guys mentioned uh, that I'd pin it and like, yeah, I probably will. Cause you think one of these big drills going in there trying to, you know, make a hole, that's a lot of force. And you know, there's a chance for that thing to slip on that press fit. So I got that pinned and I also, um, did the fix that, um, Max did over there at uh, Swan Valley Machine Shop. So I fixed the um, the bottom of this so it would oil better. I'll put a picture in there. I got it flipped up upside down and just milling it. And then I put the uh, better button oilers so they go all the way through and the oil will be uh, distributed and you know help reduce the wear there. So in my last mail call, I showed these TNGG inserts. Well, a viewer, Greg over there at My Little Mule, sent me a message and he pointed out the L in the end of this nomenclature, which is a good catch, Greg, I appreciate it. So yeah, that uh, means these are left-handed turning. So <laughs> I didn't even catch that. So I ordered the right ones with an R to do right hand turning. So just an FYI guys, if you're gonna you know, try out these TNGG inserts, which I have, and they left a great surface on uh, some mild steel. So, you know, I appreciate that heads up there, Maddie. But uh, this is what you need there, guys. So let me hold that right. So get the right handed ones. And I mentioned that I was going to uh, drill holes in the top of that backsplash. So I can um, you know, hold Morse Taper 4, Morse Taper 5 drills. I picked up this roughing Morse Taper 4 reamer. Uh, I don't think it's ever been used. It's just old grease, new old stock. I got it from um, Lithuania, I believe. So I'll drill the holes a minor diameter and then I can use this to kind of like, you know, ream it out. And uh, that way the drills will sit in a nice Morse Taper and I'm going to do the same thing. I've got a Morse taper number five already, so that'll work out good. Well, here's my last cool purchase. Probably going to get washed out by the light up there. So we did a little antiquing in a local town next to us. And, you know, going through the shop and lo and behold, in uh, one of the vendor's booth was this <laughs> decimal equivalence chart. So it was like, sweet, score. Uh, you know, I finally found one. Uh, live in the wild you know so uh, pretty tickled to get this so let me raise it up here i don't know if i can get it without it getting washed out so yeah really nice shape the price wasn't too bad so glad to get this on the wall there and i got a gift from max over there in australia he was kind enough to send me a couple license plates so that's awesome, Max. I appreciate that. They will go up on the um, shop wall up there, over there in the office. Add to the collection going around. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And if you guys uh, live in a state 
that I do not have up there. If you want to send me one of your license plates from your state, I'd appreciate it. I'll get you guys up there. I'll do a quick pan. Hopefully you can see what I've got already and uh, the ones I need. So I basically got a lot of the East Coast stuff. As you can see, I don't have much Midwestern or uh, West Coast. The only West Coast I got, I think, is uh, that Washington. So send me a plate. I appreciate it. I'll get it hung up. I did have one paid project that I didn't film. I made a weather vane. You guys have seen uh, the weather vane video I did about three years ago. This guy wanted one with a um, mountain goat on top as a gift for his wife. So I'll put a quick picture of the uh, weather vane in right here. And uh, shout out to Doug over there at Metalworks Machine Shop. He was kind enough to uh, cut that out on his plasma. So I appreciate that, Doug. So I think that's it. Just a quick one. I just wanted to say, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope everybody has a good New Year. You know, stay safe, enjoy your friends and family, and we'll catch you in uh, 2023. All right, see you. Bye.